Hey what up guys and welcome back, well at least I'd like to say welcome back to the Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod but unfortunately um, I kind of messed up a little bit and it's to do with the mod as well. Basically I was running a the recent patch version of Crusader Kings 2 and I forgot to stop it from updating so now uh, when Paradox did patch the original Crusader Kings 2 uh, it made the mod not work because it's a previous version. Uh, working with it so then they obviously updated the mod and I couldn't go back to a previous version either because uh, because it was just a small patch they changed um, there was no previous like beta version like you can go into properties in Steam and uh, revert back to the previous version but unfortunately uh, the previous mod does not work with the previous version on the beta uh, on Steam properties so unfortunately uh, the campaign is lost uh, yeah if you just go to the campaign it just does this, uh, there's no characters or anything, so uh, yeah, it really, really sucks, but I just think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start again, really, um, I think I'm just going to play as, play as the North again, play as King Torrent, uh, maybe just bend my knee this time, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, um, oh, actually, I'm not, oh, should I play the Queen of Clash of Kings, that could be quite fun, actually no, I'm going to do War of Conquest, I'm just going to start all over again, it might be a little bit annoying at the start, just to watch me, um, yeah, just to watch me having to do it all over again. Uh, but I still, you know, different things can happen. Uh, yeah, it, it can be completely different. So that's what I'm looking forward to, at least. Oh, and they also change a load of stuff as well. Like, they've got, oh, the Valerian Steel Swords now have uh, their very own um, pictures. And yeah, they've probably just added in a load of new stuff as well. Like, all their, all these have actually just changed pictures. And that's chain, cho uh, changed picture as well. So yeah, the... the addition which I've changed will probably make this uh, more fun than it normally is so yeah it's cool uh, also what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna make sure that I don't update Crusader Kings I tell Steam not to up, uh, upgrade uh, yeah um, update Crusader Kings because then this mod will always stick around till I complete it or do finish a, a goal or something so yeah, let's go ahead and adopt the lifestyle, become a formidable fighter, have five children. So let's go ahead and adopt the lifestyle like we would normally. Um, let's also go ahead. But these have all been changed, which is really cool. So all the pictures have changed. Yeah, that is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, what do we want to do? Oversee province. Let's get some more attacks at Winterfell. Uh, improve diplomacy with the guy at Pine's End because uh, he, for whatever reason, always hates you. Train my children, select taxes, uh, I want to scheme in Winterfell, and then I want to perform charity in Winterfell. Okay, cool. Um, I'm also just going to quickly turn down the sound because it's kind of loud in my headset. I'm not quite sure how loud it is for you guys, but I don't want it to be super, super loud. Uh, so yeah, basically, let's go ahead and do play. I just want to check out my family as well. I'm pretty sure I have two sons and a daughter. Yes, I do. And a bastard brother. I think he's my bastard brother. Yeah, I do. Half-brother, Brandon Snow, who's really good. Yeah, he's always your master at arms. Yeah, he's 17 assault, which is just insane. So yeah, quickly go ahead and look at vassals. Um, everyone loves you, which is cool. I'm the king of the north. Which is cool. Yeah, everyone loves me, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and hold a feast, I think. Um, I can raise 31,000 men, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and click on the ledger. Let's see how everyone else, how many men everyone else can raise. Uh, independent states. It's not this one. Yeah, it's an army. So, yeah, I can pretty much raise the most men, one of the most, which is really, really nice. Um, so, yeah, Aegon should come over. As you can see, he's already made. Oh, good, this guy likes this. Is this guy at Pine's End? No, it's not. It's just some random guy around here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. you can also see Essos is like in the map down here, but they haven't actually added in Essos, which, uh, you know, they said they're going to do around about Christmas time. They said they were adding in Essos, maybe sooner, depending on how it works, but it's going to be really, really awesome when we do add in Essos. Um, just because, yeah, it's just a whole new new island. It's going to be completely different to the Seven Kingdoms. Like, it's just going to be like, it's going to have slavery. They're all going to be republics. It's just going to be really, really cool. Um, I, I can't wait to go ahead and play them. Is Old Stone a, a ruin? It's incapable. I'm pretty sure once you take something like this, you can actually, like, reforge it. Because how they're working the in the latest, like, update, I guess as it were, like, there's loads of land. Like, land like this, they're in, in, the, in Essos, they're actually adding in, like, certain provinces which are, are like are like this which you can technically go colonize i guess in a sense and you send some like settlers there and those of events pop up 
and then you eventually make it into like a city over like 20, 30, 40 years. You make it into a city like this, um, which I think is a really, really cool idea. Um, and I can't wait for that to happen. But I, the one thing I can't wait to do is play as the Dothraki. I think that's going to be really fun just going around pillaging everything. Um, yeah, it's going to be super, super fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and hold a feast, I think. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and have our hou uh, household guard because obviously we are... Um, yeah, obviously we are freaking a king, so I need a household guard. So show. Uh, let's also go ahead. How much money do we have? We have 70 gold. I want to really hold a feast, but we can't quite yet, which is fine. Any interest in plots? No, I don't really want to kill my wife. Like, at the moment, until Aegon goes mad. Because, oh, he's already taken the Stormlands. I guess the, the king of the Stormlands must have bent the knee, I would assume. Um, straight away. Yeah, I just assume that he's bent the knee. Oh, Dragon Road is quite cool as well. I found a picture for that. So, the King of the Westerlands is no longer King of the Westerlands. The Reach and... Oh, these guys bent the knee as well? Are they only Lord Paramounts? Yeah, the Reach of bent the knee. Uh, Dawn is still Kingdom. They're currently at war with the Reach. Uh, they're still kings, and so yeah, we'll we'll still kings apart from reaching the the stormlands. But I'm pretty sure the stormlands, yeah, the stormlands have just been completely annihilated. They're not even a faction anymore. My Castalia died, which is not too good. Let's just go ahead and oversee the problem straight away again. Uh, your priest, because uh, no, whatever, he got killed by beggars. Was that? Oh, he got attacked by beggars. That's that's one of the negative abilities of um, of performing charity is that you can get killed by beggars. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and com do a commission of a, uh, like a rune stone. Let it speak of my mother. Uh, let it speak of me. Uh, it will say how feared, how I feared nothing. Okay, yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. That'll make people like me. And hopefully maybe even improve maybe my marshal or something. I think King Torrens marshal is insane anyway. It's 22. That's crazy. My son's is... My son's is nothing, but yeah, perfect. So it gives me 300 prestige, which is a lot of prestige. Uh, better diplomacy and people like me a little bit more. So that's always nice. Yeah, if you look at my vassals again, everyone loves me. Apart from you, North Road, I'm pretty sure you go anyway. Like, I'm pretty sure this dude just gets given to the Night's Watch at some point, because obviously that's Brandon's gift where Brandon the Builder gave um, gave the Night's Watch an extra bit of land to live off of and uh, as the uh, Night's Watch grew. Uh, I'm pretty sure Aegon gave them North Road. Maybe Aegon gave them North Road, I'm not really sure. Oh, and there, the Night's Watch are already getting raided apparently. Are they at war with? They're at war with pretty much the rest of the, the wildling scum. Uh, let's go and speed it up a little bit more. So yeah, we're probably going to get declared, uh, so yeah, we'll, Aegon's probably going to declare war on us pretty soon. They lost their war, which is, you know, it sucks, but no one's going to be really be able to do, push back Aegon quite yet. I mean, I might even just bend my knee, just because, why the hell not. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and educate my son as well, at least my heir, because my martial skill is crazy, so I would really like to go ahead and... Educate him. Uh, I will find someone better. Obviously, I found someone better, which is fine. Hopefully, we gain positive money again soon, because uh, because I need to get positive money. Because I I educated my son in command to give him an extra trait, and that obviously costs a lot of money. So yeah, he already starts off with plus one martial, and when I'm training him, I should be giving him really nice stats as well. Uh, it's only one guy. What does he even want to do? It doesn't even say probably wants to do something bad uh, I'm sorry I can't really afford to educate you <laughs> so she's gonna have no formal education quite yet which sucks not having a lot of money but doesn't really matter uh, he's now at war of the Iron Islands I think the one thing which really sucks about um, about Crusader Kings 2 is there's no naval combat in it like if there was naval combat then I think the Iron Islands would be a lot more fun because you'd be so e more easily defended. Like you'd be able to defend your cities like with ease because you just have a massive, um, you just have a massive navy, and then no one will be able to get to you. 
that, that's what like one of the problems um, about uh, yeah sure you can have that battle that's one of the problems which the in the black not blackfire rebellion in the greyjoy rebellion that was one of the problems it was so hard for the other kings of westeros um are you really gonna rise up against me what is it even for uh, they, yeah they, i'm just as i was saying they were just had so much trouble getting to the iron islands because the iron islands fleet was so big and it took a lot of the other fleets to defeat them which they did obviously um but yeah it was just a massive struggle uh, what do you even want? What is it? Factions? You want to lower Crown Authority? What even is Crown Authority? Um, Crown Authority is medium. Uh, yeah, you can suck a dick. I'm not doing that. So we're already in a civil war, even before Aegon comes and gets us. Which is interesting, to say the least. Um, she needs a... A tutor. Someone with high diplomacy skill would be nice. Uh, you can do it. You can educate her. So yeah, let's go ahead and raise the troops, which is just dumb. Because I should not be having to raise my men this early on. But apparently, I have to. Oh my god, there's so many men. Like, they're not going to get off of their island at all. They, they can meet up, but they might get absolutely smashed. Um, actually, I might do this. If I leave these guys... To deal with the troops here and then that still leaves what like enough men I and mean, i can still raise just raise my 5000 as well yeah that, that'll be cool so let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit but all our men should hopefully get into position we've 800 can stick here because they should still be able to defend fairly well See about oh that's quite cool you have an event which just automatically calls people to arms that's quite cool so yeah all our troops are just appearing here we're gonna have plenty i mean this will be enough just to clean up hopefully the men in wolfwood um and then i can send another one to maybe kill the car starks yeah that'd be awesome i mean I, yeah again i have a load of men here one unit can go down yeah i have plenty of men let's go ahead and give everyone commanders now because our armies are all formed up so obviously the king's army over here can Torin can lead the center and then he can have decent commanders either side of him on his flanks the army down here taking rid of the reeds can have this dude in and then two guys on his flank who are decent um and then the obviously this army as well can have that dude there and then go ahead and have two guys on his flank as well. Okay, so that should be enough. These guys should be able to defeat the calf stocks, I'm hoping, like without much problem, like without much trouble even. These guys kind of need a leader as well, just to, it's better to have a leader than not to have one at all. So hopefully these guys can uh, actually just get there before the enemy do. So these guys are marching down, which is fine. Hopefully I can just kill off that army straight away. I don't think I'm going to reach it in time. If I do that, then I will. And then move from the moat um, over to fever. Yeah, that should be fine. We should be able to just kill that army straight away. I lose the, the trait temperate, which is not too good. Massive whispers is no longer around either. Oh, they're actually winning that army, which that battle, which is really nice. So yeah, I don't really need to worry about that battle at all. Calf Stocks is besieging that, which is fine. I kind of need to send this, these men over there to deal with it. And then these 5,000 can actually go ahead and support that army. Uh, we'll go ahead and join into that battle quickly. Uh, Brandon is getting some traits as well. He's gluttonous and wrathful, which is not too good. Actually, Roth uh, that's not that bad, actually. Wrathful isn't too bad. It gives you a load of good... Uh, yeah, it gives you a load of good traits, so that's not that bad. I'm allowed to go into battle over there, which is nice. Yeah, if we can just kill all the men at the neck, that'd be brilliant. Because, yeah, then that's, they only got 3,000 men there. So we should technically win that. We're fighting over this battle. But we, again, we should win that because we have a load more numbers. King Torrin has just got wrecked. We're going to lose that battle. Holy crap. Why did he get wrecked so much? That sucks that we lost that battle so heavily. I, I'm still shocked that we lost that battle. They need support over there. Uh, so yeah, we've won down here though, which I guess, again, is alright. 
gosh, we lost over there as well. We're about to lose there. Holy crap. I've been playing too much Europa Universal, I guess. Uh, we just need to retreat back to Winterfell. Um, yeah, we lost that battle as well. That really sucks. It's, it's so stupid. Like We've won more battles than we lost yet because... I don't know what, why we, we've we a negative war score. Let's go ahead and just freaking kill that army of once and for all. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move this army back to Winterfell as well. And we're just going to have one big old build up of troops and then just absolutely annihilate the enemy. Troubled peasants, great. I can't wait if they rebel. That would be nice. Uh, so yeah, we're about to go ahead and just aid them then there. Hopefully we get there in time. We're not going to get there in time, which is just annoying. But we should be able to hopefully clean up that army without too much trouble. We're also going to go ahead and move these 4,000 men over here as well. Yeah, we should we should win that battle with these up here. Even though they have the hill, that should be fine. I do I need these 6,000? I kind of men do need to kill the Karstarks. Like ASAP, we also did capture someone as well, someone of North Road. So yeah, let's go ahead and meet up these men. That should give me what eight thousand men. We should be able to crush the army of three thousand there then. And then yeah, after killing that three thousand, these men should be able to kill, go ahead and kill the two thousand of the calf Starks, and then that should be pretty much rebellion over. Um, oh, I don't really have any money. Unfortunately, I can't go ahead and. Do it, I, I literally don't have any money at the moment because we're, we're in a state of war. I can't afford to go ahead and go into debt because it, it just makes even more people dislike me, which is just not doing good. And I can't really afford to have that at the moment. I'm kind of scared of fighting this army because the the calf stock dude is just crazy good. Uh, we've gone ahead and won that. I mean, I wasn't even planning on winning it, but that's fine. What army am I even leading now? I'm leading A army apparently. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hopefully hit kill this army of three thousand. We we we're two to one, so we should hopefully just smash that army. They do have the mountains, which gives them a, a decent bonus, but their commanders are awful. Whereas the re I think the reason we lost this is because this cast arc is just so good. Like Carlin's cast arc is amazing, and he absolutely wrecked. Like he destroys the center really easily. We'll go ahead and besiege that and just take that back straight away. We also got, went ahead and took someone prisoner, which is nice. We need to get over here and start defeating all their small armies. And we'll go ahead and march on. Because look, I have so many small armies, it's just super annoying having to deal with it all. They're also besieging Winterfell with like 10 men. That's that's cute. The cast up men did actually manage to get away, but we're going to go ahead and catch up with them and kill every single one of them. I, I kind of want to kill this army of 2,000 at Wolfswood. That'd be nice to get rid of them. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and besiege Weeping Bear. Who are we even at war with? Who is, is the Wolfwood? What, what is their capital? What is your capital? That's what I want to know. It's this place, isn't it? It's Deepwood. Deepwood's your capital. So even if we don't catch this army, I can just go ahead and besiege it. And I mean, if we do catch the army, it's even better. Which we do, which is nice. This 5,000 as well can go, go over here. I think pretty much all we have to do is go ahead and uh, take this and then we should have enough um, yeah enough war score uh, cynical isn't bad at all actually that's actually quite a good trait because piety is not really a problem in the slightest unless you want to get a divorce and intrigue is pretty good so yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually take cynical that's gonna be nice like gluttonous is really annoying hopefully if he goes on enough hunts he'll be able to get rid of that wrathful gives you more martial but then again it destroys your uh, yeah, it destroys your intrigue. And Aegon is coming to get me as well. Which is not too good in the middle of a civil war. Uh, I might just do that. Because bending the knee. I'm going to bend the knee. Oh, and the civil war has gone straight away. I bent the knee because... I thought it was the smartest decision to do at that possible time because we were currently fighting a massive civil war. Last time we tried to defeat him, but it wasn't. I don't think it was a smart decision to try and fight him. This way we can build up, we can make friends within the kingdom straight away. And when Aegon does eventually die, we can do what we did last time and forge alliances and then just go ahead and kill him. Like last time we absolutely just destroyed him in that, that war. Um, 
So yeah, I think I personally think that was the best, the best course of action. Even if you guys uh, do not. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully end all these plots against me, or just plots in general in the kingdom, which I've discovered. All these people dislike me, so I would assume they're trying to do something negatively to me. Uh, he can go ahead and do that. Uh, who dislikes me? Let's go ahead and send our diplomat there. Uh, you have North Road. I'm pretty sure North Road goes anyway pretty soon. Are there any important lords here? Um, you're pretty important. So let's go ahead and let's go to Independent or Direct Vassal so we can see. It's this dude only to make like me. So let's go ahead and send him there. Improve relations there. Everyone else is doing something. So yeah, so you know, it wasn't that great of me to freaking... Um, to bend the knee like that, but I thought it, w it was the smartest decision to do, and I'm, I'm known as the king who knelt, how historical. I can also go ahead and start, you can see everyone joining, oh so these are the guys who are crown loyalists, so oh, that's quite cool because before I'm pretty sure there wasn't factions in your place which was actually crown loyalists, so if I was to go ahead and go for independence, these guys would stick with me, and these guys would go for the crown. Even though he likes me a lot, he must like the he must like Aegon a lot, which is crazy. So yeah, for now, you know, there it's fine. Oh, have I not disbanded my troops yet? That'd probably be a good idea to do so. If I haven't yet, it'd be a smart idea to actually be levy my men so people like me. He needs a guardian. Jorah needs a guardian. I'll go ahead and educate him myself. Once again, actually, who has the best military? Is Brandon? No, it's, it's actually me. Well, Brandon can do this guy anyway. Because I like Brandon. Brandon's cool. Uh, has Aegon taken everyone yet? Apart from these small, really like really annoying places in in Westeros. But they, they should go pretty soon. I mean, Aegon would have killed everyone. How old is Aegon out of interest? He's at King's Landing at the moment. Um, Aegon, he's 33, so... Hopefully he will die soon. Fingers crossed he will die soon. Um, I, winter is upon us as well. How bad is the winter? It's only a mild winter, so it's not that bad. Uh, it kind of sucks that it's a mild winter. My lord has him fit to name Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. Oh, so he gave it uh, these guys, not the... So the Dorans, or whatever they're called... The previous kings are no longer. The house has been eliminated, I guess. I guess he got burnt alive and his children killed. And some random 2000 traitors have just appeared. How oh, funny. What do they even want? They want to take this place, which is just not going to happen. So let's go ahead and levy. Oh, it's just annoying having to levy some of my vassals now. White Harbour can go ahead and deal with it. I'll go ahead and leave the men into battle just to get rid of them. Uh, let him run. Oh, I'm actually going to go ahead and release these guys as well. The people in my prison. Because I don't want them in my prison. They were both against me, but that's fine. Hopefully they'll then like me a little bit more as well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and hopefully just kill this army straight away. And then the rebellion should be pretty much over already. I'm hoping. I'm not quite sure why the Queen's coming up to visit, apparently. Um, what one should I do? What is stubborn and slothful? Slothful is really bad. Stubborn is really bad. I'm going to go and do that. Maybe he'll get a better trait. Are we going to catch this army? Uh, we are not going to catch this army. But then these troops actually got into it. So they're going to hold them there whilst I catch up, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I don't mind having more children. Let's go ahead and try the pleasures of the whorehouse. Because it increases my fertility, which is nice. Uh, that army's going to lose, but it pretty much means I'm guaranteed to catch on this army. Gain more piety. Yeah, their army just gets annihilated. They didn't sound a chance. And they're dead, yeah. Cool. But for whatever reason, I have really, really bad war scores still. Apparently they occupy. They do actually occupy it. What a surprise. Uh, he wants to appoint me Master of Arms, and I'm going to say no. Um, I'm actually going to have heavy infantry as well. 
a great honor, he said. I'm pretty sure I said no, but whatever. We're also going to go ahead and just take back this place as well. The queen has come up personally to deal with my rebellion. How cute of her. Maybe we can have a love triangle going on with Aegon. Where's the army gone? Oh, I guess we're just retreating here. Like, I, there's no way to end this rebellion. They have, like, no troops, so I'm quite confused. Aegon has just brought up so many men <laughs> to deal with 200 of these rebellions. Yeah, like, as I was saying, it'd be so cool if these ships would actually, they just disappeared. Like, if these ships would actually fight, and then the Iron Islands would be a lot more fun to play as. But, unfortunately, they do not. So, it just kind of sucks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it end this uh, yeah end this part right now because I mean we've done quite a lot we've done like nine years already bloody whoa what's happened there oh it's just a disease that's not too good hopefully it doesn't spread that would suck if it spread oh uh, yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and end this here if you enjoyed this uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe that'd be awesome and just share it around your friends uh yeah that'd be really really cool um and yeah, apologies that I had to start again, but I still want to carry on a Crusader Kings at Faith because I really enjoy Crusader Kings too. Um, I'm also going on holiday tomorrow for a week, um, depending on when this is uploaded. It might be uploaded maybe when I'm back or during I'm away, when I'm away, I might set it to a scheduled upload. Uh, but yeah, so there'll be a few, not as many videos this week, but then obviously when Rome 2 comes out, I'll become home on the 4th and then play that loads. So you might get a break from all of my other Let's Plays, but for like a week or two, whilst I just play Rome 2. But I think that's what a lot of people actually want. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, do what I said previously, and I'll see you guys next time, man. Fish out.